The objective of this feature is to understand the improvements to the payment entry process by automating routine tasks and improve the user experience. You will learn how to import MT940 bank statement files, handle automatic matching to open items, do a manual matching entry, and generate payments resulting from the matching. By automating manual tasks, the financial department is more efficient and can minimize the risk of mistakes. Here you can set up bank import settings and define the general options for the import company and bank account. The user obtains the bank statement file provided by his bank or exported from an online banking tool and saves the file to his workstation or to an X3 server volume. The user then imports the bank statement file to X3. According to the bank import settings, the import will extract the transaction information in the file and store the results in Sage X3. After the import, the user starts the automatic matching process. The user will check the result of the automatic matching and can do manual matches for those transactions without an automatic match. When finished, the user can validate the import and generate the payments. Payments are posted manually by the user or automatically. The user can process the next statement. Go to the APAR Accounting function and under Bank Transactions, select Bank Transaction Import. Select the Bank Import Settings. Notice the fields auto populate and the file format cannot be changed here. You will also have the ability to choose whether your file is located on your client or your server. Click OK. Locate your file and then click Open. Once it is loaded, click OK. Your file will import and you will get a log. Close your log. Next, we will start the automatic matching of the transactions to the open items. Under the APAR Accounting Bank Transactions, select the Bank Transactions Management. All the imported statements are displayed along with the one you just created. You can use the filter in the right panel to show new or validated statements. Start the matching in the right-hand panel. The log will indicate the statements matched. Close your log. You can display the information of the individual statements by clicking on the action card and selecting Display. Notice there are three different matching statuses. A matched exactly, B some open items found but not an exact match, and C no open items found. You can select the Process Bank Transactions to open the Process Transaction screen. This is the main screen to work with the bank statement. Here you have the options Match Transaction, Undo Matching, Manual Entry, or Manual Selection, which is where you can enter a direct payment or entry. Now let's take a look at the transactions from the imported bank statement. I'll refresh my left list and notice we have our three types of transactions. A status of A means it has been fully matched. A status of B means there have been open items found and a potential partial match, and C means there have been no open items found. So if we look at our first A status, we can see that this transaction has been matched to this open item. 
if I look at my B status, I can match this transaction up. So let's say it was a partial payment against this particular open item. I can select my open item and then save my changes. Notice that my status now changes from a B to an AM, meaning it was manually matched. The last one is a C status and there are no open items found. So we need to add an open item. We can do that by clicking on Manual Entry. We'll come in and select our attribute. We'll select PAY and our amount pops in. We can apply it to either an account number or a business partner. I'll enter in my legal account number and then save my changes. Now you can see my status changed from a C to an AD, also meaning a manual A status, which means it has been matched. Once I'm done with my matching of all my lines, I can validate my bank statement. This will generate my payments. Once I get my log, I can close out of my log. This has now created my payments and to process my payments, I would do as I would do with any payments by going into the APAR payment receipt entry function. Congratulations on finishing this module, how to use the bank statement import MT940 format. After completing this module, you'll have learned how to import the MT940 bank statement files, handle automatic matching to open items, do a manual matching entry, and generate payments resulting from the matching.